Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between even though and even if. This is a question that a student had submitted and it's a great question, so I'm happy to answer it for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between even though and even if. First of all, you need to know that they don't have the same meaning. They're not used interchangeably. So they're both used in a very specific situation. So let's begin with even though. Even though is used when something is true, but it doesn't impact the action that you take or the decision that you make. For example, I could say, even though it's raining, I'm going for a walk. So remember, the something is true. So the something that comes immediately after even though is true. So if I look outside my window right now, it's raining, even though it's raining, that's true. But remember, it doesn't impact my action or my decision. So in this case, it doesn't impact my decision to go for a walk. Even though it's raining, I'm going for a walk. Now in terms of placement, this is flexible. We can switch the order of the two clauses. So I can start with the action. I'm going for a walk even though it's raining. Now let's compare this to even if. What you need to remember with even if is that this is a hypothetical situation. So that's the main difference because remember, even though 100% true, even if it's a hypothetical situation, okay? So for example, I could say, even if it rains, I'm going for a walk. So when I look out my window at this moment in time, it's not raining because I'm just talking about a hypothetical situation. But for me to say that, even if it rains, most likely it looks like there's dark clouds. It looks like it's going to rain. There must be a reason for me to talk about the rain if I use this expression. Even if it rains, I'm going for a walk. Now, it may rain, it may not rain. We don't know the outcome of that situation, but if it does rain, if it doesn't rain, it doesn't impact my decision or it doesn't impact the action. So that part of the expression is the same for both. In both cases, it doesn't impact your decision or your action or the outcome in general, but even though 100% true, even if, it's hypothetical. So that's the main difference. To really understand this, you just need to practice them, practice them side by side so you can see how the meaning of your idea changes. So that's what I suggest you do right now. Take one example, but try one with even though and one with even if and see how it changes the meaning and the sentence structure as well. So put those in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And if you're a busy professional who's serious about improving your English speaking skills so you can take your career and your life to the next level, then I want you to go to my website, j4senglish.com. There, you'll find a free case study where you'll learn how to feel confident speaking English in public so you can impress your boss and your clients with your message in only 30 days. To get your free case study, simply click the button, enter your name and email, and you'll get instant access to the case study. And until next time, happy studying.
Awesome job adding these advanced transition words to your vocabulary and understanding their difference. So make sure you leave your examples in the comment section below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.